yeah, uh, welcome and thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, VRS or you call here team member implementing a project measuring and comparing achievements of learning outcomes in higher education in Asia called Galohi. And our team member we have Mr. Sun Putisat, he's a team lead. Our colleague Mr. Hapsok Jamnan, Mr. Haim Sandrawat, Mr. Chu Sokhwanaria, Mr. Manjiwon and I am Dina Pan. Kalohia project have expected results with the three key recognition mechanisms or M. So the first recognition mechanism one or OM one is creation and use of regional subject specific qualifications and assessment reference frameworks to permit the greater comparability of institutional degree program profiles. And uh, in this OM1, we have already conducted the consultation with the um, SOU Academic as well as OUPP, and I am sure um, you, some of you, or maybe, uh, all of you have joining with us with the uh, Synthesis Revision 5, which is focused on skill, knowledge, and responsibilities. So for OM2, OM2 is installment of culture of student workload measurement as an integral part of curriculum design. And for OM2 task, we have already consulted and we have uh, submitted the questionnaire to, I'm sure some of you here, um, academic staff from SOU have uh, uh, done the questionnaire with, with us on uh, student workload and how many hours of your teaching credit and student learning activity on independent work. And our last um, key recognition mechanism is OM3 is implementation of authentic assessment of internationally comparably learning outcomes in degree programs. So um, here we are consulting in this video on um, authentic assessment. We, we wanted to find out how familiar you are with the authentic assessment. And I would like to briefly give you some idea about um, what authentic assessment is. Uh, well, I can say authentic assessment is performance-based assessment. Yeah, so we assess our student on their performance, or we can say uh, performance standards, and it mainly example related to real life context, uh, real world tasks and activities, or realistic and simulated situations that. Um, a realistic and simulated situation that um, the student learn how to apply their skills to or in authentic tasks and or project. Um, for example, uh, we talking about uh, driving. So um, after learning driving, we gonna assess them and then we we have the driving test. So we attach their performance on their drivings to make sure that they can pass it or not. Uh, we want to find out if they can perform well in their driving because they're going to drive in their real life, in their real world or task. Another example is like, um, we can say um, drawing or painting. So we assess the student ability on their drawing or painting. So we're going to find out if they can draw or paint it well. Uh, one, one more last example I can give regarding to um, the teaching example is um, at, at the faculties of art, humanity and foreign languages. Um, in year 4 academic two students have to do their teaching practicum. So we finally, uh, we asked them to do the teaching practicum at high school mostly, or junior high school, and we assess on their performance on their teaching practicum. So uh, teaching practicum and we assess their ability and their teaching performance uh, is an example of authentic assessment. 
So again, um, in this video, we're gonna consult with you. We just wanted to find out how familiar are you with the authentic assessment, and we want to know if you have already used the authentic assessment and we want you to give an example of the authentic assessment that will that link to the learning outcomes and lastly we uh, we have another question is uh, what ways to move closer to authentic assessment of learning outcomes can you think of well, uh, for further discussion, and we will uh, consult after watching this video. So, if you have further inquiry or any doubt or questions, we're gonna discuss after this video. So, again, thank you very much for watching this video, and see you soon in the uh, consultation.